All right, here we are, back with Zero to Duff's Blood Fiend and Deads with Hawken. And um, we're getting mixed player reviews, of course, as expected. Um, from the people we're playing it with, let's uh, a little bit. Sorry, got some uh, got some audio settings to make sure, because XSplit does not like me. Um, all right, here we are. So you're in the first one, is what you said on the West servers, right, Blood? Uh, yes, sir. All right, and we're joining in. Failed to join game. Let me refresh. It's probably full. It is full. So we're just gonna hop into a random match here and get to work. Hawking, very fast-paced, extremely in your face. Oh, look, the game ended. Fantastic. Uh, my ping is all over the place. Thank you, XSplit. But um, we'll get in a game here soon. And uh, so far, I've only played a few matches on top of what I've seen. I love this game. The customization, I think, is great. The way uh, the free-to-play model that they're going with is fantastic. Um, what you do in the game to earn XP, I really like. It's very fast-paced. You have to know your mech, like the back of your hand. And it really, really shows. It's really evident if you don't know what you're doing. You die very, very fast if you don't know what you're doing. And upgrades matter. Hugely. Customization is through and through. So far, um... Berserker is what I do, apparently. So we're gonna get in. Here we go. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what game mode we're in. Um, that's one thing that they could make apparent on the UI, uh, like around the map or something. That would be better. But uh, pretty much everybody plays deathmatch right now, because everybody is getting like they only have six days to play right now. This is a beta, the second beta event. They have six days to play, so they're like, let's get as competitive as possible. Let's let's do the majority of our work in deathmatch, and here's a guy. This is not looking good. I am overheating. Very bad things are happening. I boosted away in time. Is he going to follow me? 10 out of 10 says he will. I will do what repairing I can. I'll get 100 health. Uh, this is risky. Let's go back. Oh, looks like he's engaged. Shoot a tow missile in there. Let's continue our repair under the bridge. Alright, looks like somebody died over there. Gonna boost up. Catch him while he's repairing and secure what I think is going to be a very satisfying kill, which it was. That's good. So in the upper left on my mech, you can see I have the special ability, which is a fist, which means I can do extra damage for a short period of time, which I will use right now to hopefully take this guy into the next world, which I did. Thank you, secure to kill right there. Fantastic. I'm being shot from other angles. I'm at half health. This is not looking good. Multiple mags engaged, and I'm down. Yeah. Toe launcher is not a good thing to get hit with when you're at half health. Alright, so that's how fast you can kill, and that's how fast you can die. Let's get right back in. You got your boost uh, forward. If you boost backward, you do a 180. Also, uh, you've got your jump jets. Oh, a little hit there. Doing a little damage in the fight. Gonna... Toss some nades. Watch this guy escape and hopefully cut his little dream of being safe short. And through some sketchy left to right combat, I secure the kill and move the fuck away because I can hear. I'm going to drop a hologram of myself, boost out of the little tunnel of death. Uh, it's not a good idea to be right there, honestly. Alright, looks like two mech mechs are engaging around the corner. It's a safe place for me to chill out and repair. And away we go. 
Let's join their little fight here, possibly pick up some kills. Uh, looks like uh, we got a faster, lighter mech taking on a bigger mech, so we'll take out the light one for a guaranteed kill and move in on the bigger mech that he was working on. Oh, my EMP bolt missed there. Oh, and almost taking him out got him down to one bar, but I did get it, take a flat cannon straight to my mouth, so that will definitely disrupt your progress. <laughs> so here we go again. Launching out. I'm trying to survey here. Alright, looks like we got one above us, which is not good news. Well, we'll kind of stay behind this forward progress. I don't know. Let's try to get up there. Is this a little jerky? Um, I should probably have downgraded the graphics a little bit. Probably running about 30, 40 FPS currently. But uh, you can thank XSplit for that, considering this is a live stream. Where are you at? Where are these guys at? Oh, here we go. Looks like we'll take on the one that is succeeding. We'll try to EMP him. Looks like we were successful and he is trying to get away. You gotta watch your overheat here. Launch out a few nades and secure the kill. I am overheating. Multiple mechs after me. And that is a wall. Not looking good. And I am down. Tow missile. That happens. <laughs> ah, cheers. Let's get back in. So far, I really dig the feel. Um, it does not feel like an FPS. Like, it's not Call of Duty meets Mech Warrior. Not at all. I think they went for uh, having less health as a mech as giving the, uh, 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 increasing the pace of the combat, which I really like. I stole his kill, happily. You can kiss my ass. I'll throw in all types of grenades. And pick up that kill as well, boost around to the other guy he was fighting. Please tell me you're going to repair. Looks like he's not. Oh no. Looks like he's gonna try to engage me. That is not a real person. He's obviously upgraded. There are holograms everywhere. What the hell is going on? It's like this guy is lagging, which scares me. Because he could be killing me right now and I wouldn't know it. Anyway, let's move on. Actually, noticing my health, I'm going to risk repairing in this locale. Oh! And thank you. Connection lost. Beta servers. Those poor guys working their ass off right now to try try to keep these up, but it's not going to work. Alright, do you know which game you're in, Juan? Oh uh, yeah, I'm in Guild Wars. <laughs> Alright. So let's just find a match. Let's go for it. Alright. Mm. Let's continue with our sharpshooter mech. I'm going to try to level him up a little bit. Alright. Let's try to find something to do here. Where are these guys? It looks like they are all grouped together having a battle royale. Sounds fun. Let's get in. We do have a guy behind us to the right, so kind of be And we will try to pick up this guy. Yes we did, absolutely picked up that kill. Running into a much bigger mech, we'll drop a turret, drop a hologram, boost out of here, hopefully, getting stuck on the environment. Yes, so he took the bait of my rocket turret. He's trying to get away. I found a nice little place right here. I'll take advantage of it wholeheartedly. 
And we picked up a kill. Excellent. So let's uh, wait for the cooldown here. Get a little repair in, hopefully, because we got a battle on the other side of this wall ensuing. Alright. We gained about 100 health. It's worth it. Picked up one kill. And two kill. What? Triple kill, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. That is fantastic. We will hide like a cunt and repair ourselves. Wait for our weapons to cool down. For everybody disappointed with Mech Warrior, all the FPS, FPS fans out there, you will love this game. And it's funny that two people take the bait of the hologram because if you look at the hologram, it ping says hologram. <laughs> so, for the people shooting that, you're absolutely retarded. Sorry. Sorry to say. But you are an idiot. Oh! Caught you from behind, how's that? Ooh, where are you going? I'm almost overheated. Can I pick up the kill before I overheat and possibly die? And yes, I did! Absolutely fantastic. Four kill streak. We are going to die and enjoy the glory of our four kill streak. Four, one, and three. Not a bad start, I will say. Not a bad start. Here we go. Picking back up in the sharpshooter. We have a fully automatic um, rifle on our left arm. And a very slow, very heavy hitting, what it seems like a bolt action, on our right. We're going to drop a hologram here. I would like to. There we go. Hologram and rocket turret. Just to meet the pursuers. I wish it didn't look like there was any, so that was kind of a waste, but we can kind of kite them into that. Looks like he took an exorbitant amount of damage from my right click, and I did not finish him off before his tow launcher took my face and put it on the wall behind me. So, that was fantastic. Alright. Respawn and go. What's going on? Where you guys at? Uh oh. We got a guy. Looks like trying to hide. We will have none of this. And apparently, <laughs> he will only take like three rounds. But it's three rounds he didn't take before. And I had a terrible execution of what I was trying to do. Thought too much about it and got completely obliterated. That looks like uh, a mech boosted up onto that ramp right there behind me as I was trying to engage the mech in front of me. That was terrible. Alright. Da, 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 da. Hmm. It looks like your mechs are as tall as the street lights. So, hello! How are you? I will... Get out my rocket turret, do a little bit of dashing and fighting and take him out. I will hide like a little bitch. Ah, I see somebody over there having some fun. Looks like somebody's enjoying my little rocket turret. And as you can see in chat, apparently, the consensus of the people who play more than five minutes of this game is, this game is awesome. So, it's definitely geared towards a certain type of player. I will, I will admit that. Son of a bitch! Hologram dropped, taking fire from multiple sources. I was just... <sighs> I was a very attractive target right there. Alright, here we go. Well, so we got a guy spawning over here in the corner. We're going to try to disrupt his flow before he gets it going. He is an assault mech. 
Oh, Lord Jesus. Looks like we have an attention from a guy behind us as well. And just like the last death, 2v1, multiple directions. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to stream and record and post live some footage that involves something more than just deathmatch, but it seems that everybody right now is kind of engaged in individual skill of the game. So, hey guy, terrible idea to be with me behind you, but it's happened to me a few times, so I can't blame him. Another sharpshooter mech, I see. Very resistant to the damage I'm throwing out. We are going to get out of this situation. Let my rocket turret do some damage, hopefully. Uh, uh, he found me and it did not end well. Our method of retreating was unfavorable. Alright. Let's get back in. We are going to scroll to... I keep forgetting forget to use my special ability, which is extremely helpful. So let's pop it right now and see what kind of damage we can do. How did he not get hit by that? I'm gonna drop a rocket turret there. And we took him out with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Took about 100 points in damage. It's fine. The match ended. Let's see where we were. Definitely lost the match. Somebody out there is really good. 30 and 11, of course. 6, 6, and 7. You can't really shake a stick at that. Yes. They, uh... The rapport is good among players. <laughs> so, look at my earnings there. Um, Hawking points, these points I'm highlighting at the moment, are what you use to buy upgrades and stuff like that. Those are in-game currency. Your meteor points are bought with uh, IRL cash. So, that is the current business model. And so far, things aren't really that expensive. Upgrades on your mech are about 100 meteor points a piece. So you spend $10, get either 1,000 or 2,000 or whatever they're pricing it at. Um, you can completely outfit a couple mechs with it. <clears throat> a mech costs 1,000. So uh, factor that in. As you would expect, everything that involves Hawking points is very expensive. To where 100 meteor points would buy you an upgrade, the equivalent to that is 1,200 Hawking points. So quite a bit of gameplay is required in order to get <clears throat> some of the crazier mechs with some of the uh, really, really heavy firepower. But, if somebody's buying it with real money, it's going to cost you. So, you got to pick your poison there. I'd say buy the mech with Hawking points and then outfit it with Meteor points, but to each their own on that one. But um, I think this will end the live stream for now. Uh, we'll continue later. Check me out uh, as you're watching from right now. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, this is TwitchTV slash zero. And check me out on my YouTube. The link's below in the info. Um, YouTube.com slash GSorel at Gmail or what we'll be changing tonight. YouTube.com slash AZFAX. A-Z-E-E-F-A-K-S. So uh, follow me at Twitter at Gert101. And... Thank everybody for watching, and we'll continue more, definitely more Hawking tonight, so stay tuned, as always.